And we are learning more tonight about a plan by a Chinese-backed mining company to hire temporary foreign workers. Labour unions say they have proof qualified Canadian applicants have been passed over in favour of less qualified Chinese workers. The mining company, though, insists it needs to bring the foreign workers in because they have special skills. So our Asia correspondent Paul Johnson travelled to China's mining heartland to get a first-hand look at those skills. Canada starts right here with the BC Jobs Plan. Who could argue with that message? In fall of 2011, BC Premier Christy Clark brought it to Beijing during an Asian trade mission. When we introduced our jobs plan, we called it Canada Starts Here. She met with a number of Chinese mining firms, including one that's triggered controversy with a plan to fly in Chinese miners to dig coal near Tumbler Ridge, BC. HD Mining says it can't find enough qualified workers in Canada. This is just a bold-faced lie. Stephen Hunt is one of several Canadian union leaders opposed to bringing in temporary foreign workers for this project. We've been training miners in Canada for 100 years, over 100 years. So we traveled to Shanxi province where HD owns several mines. In one of the places, they would presumably get the qualified workers they can't find in Canada. While they've been making improvements, China's coal industry is still among the world's dirtiest and most dangerous. And the miners we met here don't dispute that. With 30 years experience, this miner says he earns about $800 a month. He likes his job, but didn't want to talk about safety. He left the room when we brought that up. This miner told us he's late in being paid and was worried it may be months before he'd see his paycheck. As for training, all of the miners we spoke with, including this veteran, told us they typically get about three months training before going underground. Valuable. But is it a skill set you can't find in Canada? Union leaders like Hunt say, no way. And they make the suggestion that Canadians are, are, are too lazy or incompetent or, or, or just don't want to work in mining. It's just wrong. Both HD Mining and BC Jobs Minister Pat Bell, a supporter of the project, declined to be interviewed for this story. While the company says it will fight for its plan to bring in Chinese miners, the controversy has prompted Ottawa to review its temporary worker program. As for Chinese miners, would they even be interested in working in Canada? Why not, said this miner. It all depends, he says, on what they're paying. Paul Johnson, Global News, Beijing.